Hello and welcome to the Rendering for Success training presentation that we had at the Vectorworks 2016 Design Summit in Chicago. The whole point of this presentation was not to, to teach Renderworks. It wasn't to teach it start to finish. It was to just introduce you to a large number of the more, a few more of the more hidden concepts of Renderworks that you might not see. You might just not stumble across them. This is to get you a little accustomed to those and just a few general tricks along the way. And especially in Chicago, we notice there's beautiful work that surrounds us every day. And there's inspirational designs that we can use to teach you about the various techniques in Vectorworks software. Uh, for this particular training series about rendering, we remodeled the Serpentine Gallery Pavilion, a work designed by Toyo Ito and Associates, architects with Cecil Balmond and Arab, to demonstrate various ways that you can produce high quality renderings directly inside Vectorworks. Uh, there's no reason to really follow along exactly. Uh, you'll be getting this file as well, and there's a number of saved views in here. Generally, we'll be going to them top to bottom, uh, but we'll also skip around a little bit as the flow of the training takes us. Uh, if you're not aware of saved views, they can save your camera view, they can save the rendering mode, and they can save the settings within that rendering mode. So they're a big part of using Renderworks properly, and I highly suggest you get familiar with them. You'll sort of see how they work as we go along. Uh, so to start, uh, in a bit, you'll see me move around in a pretty unusual way in Vectorworks. I won't be using the flyover tool or the walkthrough tool. Uh, what I'll be using is this. This is a 3D connection space navigator. It's basically like a, a joystick if you've ever used a video game flight joystick before. You can move it left, right, up, down, and slide around very easily. Basically, I have mine mapped up so that it moves like my head. If I turn it left, right, up, and down, it changes the view like that. I highly recommend you get one. They're not too very expensive, but they're definitely worth your time. And they're very compatible with Vectorworks, I believe, 2015 and later. 